Hello everyone and welcome to another War Leader PvMP video. Today I have got uh, one fight to show you. It's a one versus one with a minstrel. Uh, this is actually the fight that took place before everything that was in the last video that I put up and uh, pretty much it set the stage for all the events that happened afterwards. Anyway, let's go ahead and get right into this uh, long little slog because as we know, War Leaders versus Minstrels takes forever. So here we are, we start off and uh, Floofy, he is our minstrel, he is rank, uh, looks like, 5, and as you can see he has 6,000, he's running in war speech, uh, I am currently brawler stance, are of command, got my banner of terror, uh, well my command post down, not my banner of terror yet, and uh, <laughs> yeah I'm getting tells, <laughs> what can I say? Anyway, the, the thing I noticed immediately is I'm able to put down quite a bit of damage on him, he is not particularly resistant. I'm getting very big crits on him at 800, uh, which is great damage when you're considering freeps, even though against NPCs I hit a lot harder than that, but uh, I'm able to do pretty good damage, and more importantly, his health pool is, well, his, no, his power pool is not holding up very well, and that's kind of the big, the big thing, that and how much damage he puts on me, is just, if they're not doing well on the power management, it is potentially possible to kill the Minstrel. Uh, my Banner of Terror is on cooldown, so obviously that's already been used. I probably started this part way in, but that's where we stand. As you can see, uh, Fell Rotten has arrived, and we've also got that spider in the background. And as the fight continues, more and more people are just going to show up and start watching. My flag is not named anything particularly right here. Usually if I'm out soloing and trying to get 1v1s, I will name it Soloing Don't Interrupt, and that has a marvelous effect on keeping people from jumping in on your 1v1s a lot of the time. But right now it's just as its standard little name, and as you can see in the background, Fell Rotten's trying to blow up that warg there, and there's another spider that's arrived. Uh, and our fight is uh, fairly stagnant for the moment. <laughs> Still making shouts at him, I, he still is not putting out a whole lot of damage on me, and uh, it's a little bit surprising. Uh, the one advantage I do have over him right now is, as you can see, I did manage to eat food before the fight started, and that regeneration is really helping quite a bit. Uh, there's somebody else sending me a tell. <laughs> but wh what, I, what I'm trying to do here is because... Well, right, right now what I'm trying to do is answer the, uh, the question that I'm being asked. Uh, but what I'm trying to do with him is, if I can keep putting damage on him and forcing him to spend power on attacks and healing, so just keep him slowly siphoning away that blue power pool. Don't let him get the time to uh, set up his ballads to be blue so that he can restore his power. Try to keep pressure on him. Then potentially, uh, when Banner of Terror comes up cooldown, I can drop Banner of Terror, run him low on power because of the regeneration hits and all that stuff and slowly just whittle away that blue bar, and once the blue bar is gone, the minstrel will die very quickly because, as we've already discussed, he is taking a lot of damage from my shots when I'm critting and such. Now, the other thing to notice is that he does not seem to be doing a careful management of his crowd control to keep me from picking up diminishing returns, so even though they're not coming in uh, a whole lot at once. It is slowly continuing to build up my DR, and he's not letting it go 45 seconds before he hits me again. Uh, Banner of Terror is down, so this is going to be a lot of his uh, power bar getting slapped away here, as I put a lot of pressure on him, forcing him to get heals for himself, and his regeneration just is uh, in the pits right now. Now, Floofy is doing a very good job of staying mobile and continuing to kite as much as he can. And uh, honestly, that's just uh, good for him and all. It will completely, just because staying in melee range against a war leader, uh, particularly with how hard I've been hitting him lately, would not be a very good plan. I mean, that was a 350 off an auto attack right there, I believe. So, if he stays in melee range, he will just cause himself more trouble, force himself to spend more heals, and that's just not going to help out his cause whatsoever. Alright, 
my banner of terror has expired. He's also moved me away from my command post, which is not something I really want to be in uh, a position of, because I want to keep getting a benefit from my extra damage, my regeneration, all that stuff. So I'm going to have to be careful to keep moving my command post around. And uh, there I just popped my first power pot of the fight. I probably should have popped it a while ago, but at least I am using it now. Uh, as you can see, he's down to 2,000 on his power pool, so this strategy is actually working. And this won't work against most missiles. Uh, this is working mostly just because I'm managing to keep pressure on him. He's not doing a good job of using his power restore skills, and the Banner of Terror really just put a huge dent into his power pool by itself, because once that thing hit the floor, I mean, he lost a good 4,000 power from the Banner of Terror by itself. And right now, because I continue to keep the pressure on him, uh, he's not able to recover his power right now. He's not putting a whole lot of damage on me. He did just fear me there, but there I go ahead and pot that. And... Yeah, he's doing something. <laughs> okay, I, I need to... I did not get that properly interrupted, so he did get some power back right there. But uh, I'm still doing fairly well. Otherwise, and uh, another burst in power, possibly from a potion, but I'm not entirely sure about that. Now the one thing is that I'm starting to get low on power too. Uh, I've hit the 2000 mark, so I'm going to have to start managing my own power for, for a little bit here. And that's part of the reason why I swapped into Commander Stance is I can get a lot more healing out. Uh, now I'm going back to Brawlers, but <laughs> as I continue to lose pow power and I have to worry about my own power pool, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay off on Fracture, because Fracture is pretty power hungry, and I will try to lay off of Menacing Roar a bit more as well. Uh, right there you saw he hit me with the fear and then it was instantly gone, that is because of Diminishing Returns, which I mentioned that earlier, but now I am at full Diminishing Returns, so he cannot stun me, and uh, it does not appear that he's been able to slow me effectively, so that is working out in my favor. We are both at 1000 power. Uh, I definitely need to keep a little careful. And uh, he just pulled both of the the, th the Aurochs right there with an AoE, and that was very unfortunate for him. But he does flop here, and that resets them. He stands right back up, continues the fight. Uh, very nice of him to, to continue, and it's, it's very nice that he's able to get rid of them as well. Uh, if he hadn't been, then that would have been the fight right there, because the, the extra damage from them would have finished him off. Alright, Power Pot is off cooldown. I need to be hitting that very shortly here. I'm not sure why I haven't. There, I get a slow on him. That's going to help out. He is at the bottom of his power pool as well. And just hit Fracture there, so... Uh... There we go. Power Pot finally hit, so I've got 1,000. I'm... That's going to be plenty to finish him off. I'm just going to let him have it with everything that I've got in my arsenal. And this should take care of him. His power went up as well. He obviously hit his own power pot. So it's going to take a little bit longer. But I am winning on the power management in front right now. Although I'm going to have to lay off of the Fracture and Menacing Roar again. Uh, of course, I'm still hitting Menacing Roar just to debuff him. <laughs> I think I'm also laying off Cleave at the moment. And uh, there we go. Banner of Terror down again. This will finish him. He cannot get enough regeneration now to be able to get his skills off. Uh, he just did something, he's at 56 power, he's going to be stuck at 56 or slightly more for quite a while. As you can see, his regeneration ticks are only giving him uh, approximately 40 power or so. That is not a good spot for a minstrel. His abilities cost uh, a good two, three times that in terms of power. I'm not doing so hot in terms of power myself, but... I am doing better, because I'm not worrying about a Banner of Terror debuffing me. Isn't this just the kind of fight you expected to see? A fight where they're both out of power and running around auto-attacking each other. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think that you expected to get here either. 
Uh, one thing that I could have done is I could have gone ahead and used Quitters Never Win earlier, because that would have given me a nice big boost of power and would have helped out quite a bit. Plus, uh, with the amount of time that this fight took, uh, it's, it's a good 10 minute fight, Quitters could have been off cooldown again. Uh, I didn't need it for the Hilo though, so I forgot about the, the power restore and did not use it for that in this entire time. Uh, he's there we go finished him off <clears throat> and victory because I just had to wait till my power pot came off cooldown and then I was able to finally finish him off but as you can see Floof was not exactly a, a newbie missile or anything he's not at the very top tier either but you you can't always give up certain matchups and say that they're always untenable you need to f actually test it and see how your opponent's responding to to the combat and how things are actually going gotta test the burglars that come after you, the room keepers, the minstrels, because not all freeps, or creeps for that matter, but the, the, the actual saying as I heard it was not all freeps are created equal, and some of them you're gonna be able to actually beat them and kill them. And you won't know if they're actually a uh, viable target for 1v1 and stuff for you to win against if you haven't given it uh, some time and actually tried it. It would have been very easy to just say, oh, Minstrel versus War Leader, going into commander stance, named my banner and sat there and healed through everything he fired until he finally called the draw. Uh, instead, I went aggressive, figured out that his power management was not very good, realized I could exploit that weakness if I kept getting Banner of Terror down, and managed to beat him. All right, well, uh, that is all for this time. Good luck and have fun out there. Ugmog is out.